Hello, and welcome to this week's edition of The Horror Debate. I'm Michael Mandy. He's Rowdy Jeff. And this week we are reviewing Pulse by Jim Sonzero, screenplay by Wes Craven. Yeah, I couldn't tell that it was a Wes Craven film. Uh, no, I had no idea he was even involved in this project. Yeah. But, uh, you know, this is a, a kind of been done before, don't you think, Mike, a little uh, bit? Yeah, this film reminded me a lot of uh, the strange ghost creatures, reminded me of the white noise. Uh, it also had a little bit of the grudge. The white noise was good. Um, well... <laughs> <laughs> Michael Keaton, no. Um, yeah, no, 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 no. Michael Keaton did a good job in that yeah, movie, man. But, uh, I, I, and then the whole tape, the the bad things out, that was in uh, the the Grudge. You know, remember he right? was taped up in the closet. That's right. That's right. Um, someone else also mentioned the Shining, the twins at the at the stair, uh, the elevator. Mm-hmm. Um, I also saw a lot of Fear dot com. Uh, for some reason, this director really loved. It. The turn all the colors off on the camera. I thought this was a black and white film for the longest time. Yeah, a lot of blue hues. Yeah. Uh, kind of made it a little eerie, I thought. Um, but, uh, you know, again, I, I really felt the uh, been here, done that before mm-hmm. kind of vibe from as soon as we turned it on. Um, it did a couple of things kind of cool, and I think uh, I can kind of feel where the director was coming from, or at least not the, really the director, but the, the screenwriter. Um, I can see where they were coming from because, uh, you know, one of the uh, major concerns uh, in, in our current society is... Um, cyber terrorism. Um, now, this movie obviously is not about cyber terrorism, but it it, it kind of follows that same path, that yeah. same thought process. Um, they're talking about opening up another dimension and having, uh, uh, you know, ghosts or whatever come through your computers. Well, the basic plot is this internet virus is spreading across a college campus, and it makes these ghost images appear on your screen, and, and then, then next thing you know, there's this weird ghost creature thing that sucks out all your will to live and you're left so sad that this you movie just sucked out my yourself. will to live yeah it sucked now, out mine you know too. here's the deal dude okay if, if you're gonna make a movie about technology at least know what you're talking about yeah. and at least make it look realistic enough to um t- you know t- t- so it's believable well, because i i do this stuff for a living yeah it, okay uh, and it's it's not even close well it's a pg-13 film so it it needed a lot of jumps and things to scare you a lot of you know looking in dark passages and yeah. all of a sudden bam there it is yeah you know, yeah a lot of that and a lot of cgi waste yeah they, they try to dummy up these computer yeah. movies and they've done it you know with like movies like antitrust and even war games to a certain extent they, they way back to war games i mean they always made it a little stupid when it came to <laughs> to you know it's not realistic you know this is not how it would be done they know a few big words or a few small words like virus or worm or something like that, yeah. and and they think that um, you know they're defining it sort of incorrectly throughout well, the entire movie, you know. Um, and we were sitting there throwing out terms. Hey, just f disk the drive, man. Yeah. Format, you know, c colon slash u, dude. Oh, let's control tr- alt delete these guys. Yeah. Uh, no, if we if we would have said something like that to the director, we'd been like, what? Huh? What? Yeah. You know? Yeah. I mean, it just it. it it reeked of not knowing what he was talking well, about. Well, this is Jim Sonzero's second film, so... Could yeah. be his last. <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, what did you think of Veronica Mars in it? Uh, that was her character. Yeah, Kristen that's the Bell. Kristen Bell, right? Yeah. Um, you know, I thought she did a competent enough job. She's, I thought, I thought actually, Christina Milian uh, did a, a fairly decent job, and mm. she's usually not in the... Uh, the actress scene uh, so much. She's more of a kind of a hip hop kind of chick, right? Oh yeah, all these films gotta have one, you know. But yeah, yeah, she actually didn't do so bad. I mean, I could see her actually, you know, doing some acting on the side and stuff. But you know, the acting wasn't anything to set the world on fire, man. You this know that. This movie wouldn't set anything on fire. <laughs> Nope. <laughs> well, you know, and and again, I mean, uh, it, it takes all the credibility out of a movie. I remember watching The Net. Let me let me just say okay. this. Okay. I remember the, the, the uh, Sandra Bullock film. The Sandra Bullock film. I remember watching that and just falling off the couch in laughter. Okay, <laughs> because it was so unrealistic what she was doing with the computer, how she was loading stuff. You know, or you know oh, yeah. how she Ordering was doing pizza. her research. Yeah, it was so unrealistic, and I think they were trying to like take. Um, kind of a slice of the future and bring it into present day as to what they thought things were going to be like but it's just not that way and when you when you do that and when, when somebody like me who's in IT for a living watches a movie like this uh-huh. it, it, it makes me laugh and then it takes all credibility away yeah. from the seriousness of the movie yeah. from then on you're just you're just you know I, I'm disconnected you know. well you know? despite all the the f- false jumps and cliched scares and things this this film just didn't do it for me no 
No. There, there's not much here to like. No. Um, you know, I I thought it looked really cool. This is one of those movies where the trailer is probably better than the movie. Yeah, you're probably right. You know, the trailer looked really cool. I thought the the ghostly figures and the monitor. Well, actually, that was a little freaky. I'll give it that. Yeah, uh, but I mean, I saw that in White Noise. You know. No, I'm not talking about the ghosts. I'm talking about the actual people who are like committing oh. suicide stuff inside the monitor. Oh, okay. And, you know, you know what I mean. And they're uh-huh. trying to unplug the computer, but yet uh-huh. it doesn't get rid of them. You know, I thought that was that was pretty cool. I mean, there's a couple little small points to the movie that I thought worked, but for the most part, it, it didn't. It didn't it, do it for me either. Yeah. I, I, one star. Yeah, I'm, I'm going to one star this yeah. too, and it's unfortunate because I was really looking forward to watching this, and uh, yeah, it, it, it was kind of a downer, man. Yeah. All right, I'm Michael Mandy. He's Rowdy Jeff. We'll talk to you next week at the Horror Debate.